Thank you, we got a box from San Antonio, Texas today. $20 shipping. Did I unbox my? Always a fun thing for me to have a box and not know what's going to be inside. It's got a box max stamp. Yeah, it's very cute. cute. And uh, only a female could possibly do a thing like that. No, no. Select males could too, but no, it's clearly Molly. Molly Palmelson uh, from San Antonio. I love San Antonio. How far is it from where you live? Oh, about two hours, two and a half hours. Yep. Go on the river walk, go to the Alamo during the day. It's nice. Oh, see, I, I don't know anything about Texas. To me, Texas is is all the same basic idea. From Cowboy hat, time. boots. Yeah, Belt buckles. Everywhere. There are HEBs yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I live like a mile from one. Because of Emily, I've been, I've been out there a couple of times, and there was the Austin Film Festival. Sure. And I have learned that Texas is not all one place. No, no. I, I, I'd like to visit <laughs> Texas sometime. 1990 is a lot to spend it on is. sending to us. And I kind of want to have a competition. Who can send us the most expensive box? Wow. Oh, no, that's not fair. Why not? The only people who are making money off this deal is the United States Postal Service, and goodness knows they need it. Well, there you go. It's a fundraiser. We don't know if it's Texas themed or if it's just thing. It could be another big box of HEB, which I love. If it is, what do we do? Cancel the show? Yeah, shut it down. <laughs> go home. All right. Oh! Frank! Oh, no! Oh, no! There's an electric bag of cheese cooker! That smells so f***. Plastic and it's super hot. An unmitigated disaster. Oh, jeez. Holy crap! Oh my god. Look, it's on simmer. I'm following the directions exactly. <laughs> this is an awful device. It's unsafe. Do not buy it. Do not use it in your home. By now, this is a threat, isn't it? This is like sending me a head in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now we've got two of them, Frankie. We're gonna have to give this one away. We should have another fan art competition. I didn't Ooh, get the answer last time. Excellent idea. Hello. Hello, Papagena. Hello, Papagena. Says so it's a good time for callbacks. You wanna go get your uh, your present for John? <laughs> it's a far piano. It's a far piano. She far pianoed me and ran away. Gray recommended that I get you a far piano for the Christmas show. Sure. Yeah, what well, about you buy him a fart piano? <laughs> so get him like a fart piano? Yeah. <laughs> the wretched fart. <laughs> Which is different from the wretched fart. <laughs> Evie, can you dance to the sound of the farts? Goodbye, Evie. I didn't realize this actually existed. Did she know about the existence of the fart piano at the time? Yeah, my mom always suggested that if you don't know what to get for somebody, you get something that you want, and that way if they don't like it, they'll just give it to you. That's right. Get you a fart piano, you'll say, that's real nice, why don't you hang on to that for me? Yeah, it's a beautiful gesture. Some people would call that rude. You've got, I've got the fart piano, I was playing a little song. <laughs> You wanna dance? You can only play one note at a I dropped the fart piano! Now it can't fart anymore. No, it's fine. <laughs> it even has sharp notes, so you can actually play like a number of songs. I can sing a little fart. You got a burp piano, so it's a multi-piano. A heaving piano. <laughs> it's a pukey belch. It's like a, a really serious problem that someone is having. And then we're back to farts. Thank you so much for bringing me a fart piano. Now back to our dilemma. John and Frankie with an exclamation point. Sure. I have included in this package a Smart Planet all-in-one perfect mac and cheese maker. She has. Would you uh, would you say that made perfect mac and cheese? Oh, uh, it. <sighs> There's a moment in the episode, it's one of my favorite moments in all of Box Mac, where you're looking at me, you're so serious, you're not kidding around, you go. This product, I wouldn't allow them to sponsor our show. It makes me a little sad because I love our fans, I, I do, and, and our fan packaged this and sent it to us at great cost. $20 box, $30 item. She included okay. her receipt and she spent $10 on it. Oh, she spent $10 on it from Amazon for 10 bucks. Okay, well, then is it starting to be a good deal? Easy to use and clean. Do we have to try it again, Frankie? Yep. No! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank goodness, thank goodness. <laughs> that's not all that's in it. Let's, let's and a look. number of Macs that I picked up while on a recent trip to Utah. So these are things you have not Utah seen. Utah Macs. I apologize that some of the boxes are beaten up. They got a little smooshed in my suitcase. Okay. I haven't tried any of these things, so there's a chance they might all suck. All right. I wrote the price of each Mac on the top of their boxes oh, and included the receipts. Organized. 
I purchased the Macs at three different grocery stores that I've described below. Yep. These Macs may not taste that great, but they're from Mormon country, so you know that they'll be wholesome and chock full of moral fiber. Molly Palmerston, San Antonio. Can we, oh, lovely. can we hire her on a, a, in the general offices? The documentation was so documentation. comprehensive. Then we've got a summary of the supermarkets. We got Kent's Market, Smith's, Harmon's. I think they sell this at, uh, what, Target? Pss, the Pss brand? Oh, uh, well, we've actually right. done this. We have yeah. tried. Pss. I do really like the small animated owl. It reminds me a little of eating Chinese food. It does taste kind of like Chinese food. The description she says about Smith's, clean mid-range grocery store, sure. owned by Kroger, carries Kroger brand products. Okay. Rotisserie chicken display, but no actual chicken sad face. Oh, how Large sad. variety of Macs, but few that can't be found in most grocery stores or big yeah. box areas. I like this box. This is from Kent's. She says, it's kind of dirty, no rotisserie chickens. Large variety of Macs, mostly Kraft and Western Family brands. There's only one of these markets in Utah. So I wonder if Western Family is only sold there. This one's $1.99, organic. That one's two, two um, nineteen. 19? And 30, 34 cents. 34 cents. Hold the phone. 34 cents is is the cheapest thing we've ever had. Yeah, one at three for a dollar. Yeah. So that might have been a sale. And look, we've got one more here. It's Daya. It's Daya. Her description of Harmon's is yep. pretty fancy, lots of gourmet items, an extensive cheese selection, a variety of rotisserie chickens in lots of different flavors. She seems to really value rotisserie chickens as part of the supermarket experience. It's come up about four times. Yep. Along with the vegan mac, I purchased one that was made with potato-based pasta, but it was expired by the time I got home. Oh. She writes all over about that. I should have checked the date first. I doubt you'll be missing anything if you don't get to eat it. Well, hun. We already had this one. Do we need to put some kind of database in effect so people don't send us duplicate Macs? If you yeah. have DBA we'll skills, uh, Oracle slash... Uh, MySQL. MySQL, absolutely. Uh, and, and you want to do develop web apps, uh, maybe in, in Python or ASP. PHP. Uh, yeah, PHP. Uh, contact us and we'll give you a job. Thank you. Western family and we'll throw in this organic. What do you think of that? I... Love it! Mormon Max. Utah Mormon Max. Hello. I don't think they're actually Mormon. My okay. name is Mormon Max, and I would like to have the cheesiest pasta you've ever had. What's wrong with Frankie? <laughs> He's singing the Book of Mormon. Oh, yeah. he is? Oh, I see. Hello. Hi. My name is Jesus Christ. You have a lovely home. Does it have macaroni and cheese in it? No. Oh. I've adapted. I can't thank you enough for sending this stuff in, and the documentation is incredible. I know so much more about rotisserie chickens in Utah I than I did too. a few minutes ago. This is something to aspire to if you're going to send us mess. That's right. Why don't you get that one ready in the wrapper? Okay. And then I will get the butters. <laughs> so, butter. I've watched Box Mac before. What do I, what do I, how does this work? <laughs> She watches it at work just like everyone else. Okay. <laughs> We've seen this kind of printing on our on our Macs before, but notice two noodles are stuck to the cheese packet. Oh, we lost one. Cheese, cheese sauce, sauce mix. mix. Cheese sauce 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 mix. <laughs> oh, it's got a line on it, huh? Wait till the water gets hot, though. It takes a little while because the pipes are long. I just got colder. Things get worse before they get better. <laughs> wow. wow. Ooh, child, things are going to get flowier. Water's going to get hotter. Yeah. Use your wrist instead of your fingers to uh, test. Well, if you're testing baby's bath water, you do want to use your wrist that's because that's more like... Mom tips. Yeah, mom tips. Feel the shoes packet, Frankie. Nice and squishy. When it's more squishy, it usually comes out better in the end. That, I can really appreciate that. This cheese powder on the outside of my doodle. Uh-oh, does that mean it's no good? I think it's okay, but I just don't know how I got there. I always think I was too aggressive with my, um, when we chanted. <laughs> You guys are always being asked to do mix-ins. This looks pretty good. Ranch Chicken Mac. They want Ooh. you to mix in uh, canned chicken. How about rotisserie chicken mac? They also want you to do ranch salad dressing, uh, chopped tomato, and sliced green onion. Sounds pretty good. Well, wait a good. minute. I'm not going to mix ranch dressing into the mac. I use it as a dipping sauce for pizza crust. I assume they mean the powdered mix. Okay. Oh, do they? I thought they went real dressing. Like the kind that you use on like popcorn sometimes? Or John is liberally salting. I, I, the standard amount, Frankie. The ratio has been thoroughly tested now both by my own research and by BoxMac. The result is six cups water, one teaspoon salt. That right there is the end of all the salt jokes. We're never gonna reference the salt I'm stuff again. I'm shutting them down. I feel bad for Molly, don't you? I feel so the, bad. This tower of, of already done Max. I kinda like Emily's idea of giving it away as another art contest of some kind. But then the house is gonna burn down. <laughs> so? We'll give you not only the Mac cooker, but a couple of our favorite Macs. This box of Daya, and a couple other ones that are actually tasty. You always say Daya, it's Daya. Daya, Daya. I'm pronouncing it like it's Japanese. Maybe that's the problem. Daya, Daya. Cheesy <laughs> baku.
So I'll send you guys some fan art and some more HEB. Yeah. And that way you can give away the HEB. A lot of Texas fans a box back. Because we're quite fat. Everything's bigger in Texas. Pretty soon that stomach of yours will stretch and stretch, and your capacity for food will just grow and grow. We'll barbecue steaks and stew, feed you pumpkin pie, till your can's bigger than the big old Texas guy. Not to offend our one or two Louisiana viewers or, or Mississippi viewers, but I can generally consider those to be the real, like, the big states. Nary a child would glance an eye at myself walking down the street. Children don't really notice me anymore. Really? They used to. Look at that guy, he's so big! And the mother would be like, squat! What's the best way for a mother to deal with that situation? Guy yeah. with missing limbs, look, guy with burn victim, guy who's... Offended. John presents a, a, a jolly front. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I understand. But One of the dollar stores we went to, the guy had like a little, little tiny, little tiny arm. Yeah. And the kids were commenting. He knows. He knows, and uh, I see yeah. it. Did you want to ask him a question? Is, yeah. that, is that okay? I think that's fine. Okay. You want to ask him a question about his tiny T-Rex arm? Got little tiny noodles. Little tiny noodles. Not entirely unexpected in a 34 cent Mac. I usually mix up my sauce in the pot first, and then, see, and then put it back in. I never do that. I let the, the noodles heat the sauce. Easy flow cheese Whoa. sauce. Look at it. Looks great. Oh my god, I think we're gonna have some good Mac. This came out very nice. I think the kids are enjoying the granny squared blankets in there. <laughs> Three B for Frankie Frank. B with a, a, a tick over it to indicate that it's bowls. Yes. Not boxes. An accent? Yeah, ac accent gauche, as the French call it. Aigu? Aigu, yes. It's worth mentioning that Emily was the editor on the Red Cow book. Yeah, oh, I'm, yes. not just, I'm not just some fan that came up here to hang out with you guys, please. <laughs> oh, you got a nice, uh, nice gross clump here. You can see it on the box that it's actually a little clumpy. Look at the bottom of the box. It's it true. It looks like they actually made the product that they had and took a picture. Look at the color of this one. Red almost. Yeah, red. This cheese does not want to break up. Oh, I didn't put the milk. Oh, that's... <laughs> That'll explain it. Too many cooks. Box Mac is a little top heavy in terms of management. <laughs> We need more people on on the on the floor, on the ground. It's Clumping. very uneven where yeah. you've got big orange clumps. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is how it's gonna look. All right, let's do it. Sometimes those cheesy clumps can be really just a cheesy delight. Maybe. I don't think so. We're gonna try the organic first here. Um, it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. If this is your option for organic mac, that's not bad. If a doctor sat me down and said, "I'm sorry, Mr. Fran, you can only eat organic food for the rest of time." I can tell you, are you a real doctor? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad. I wish it had stirred up a little smoother. Now that I think about it, that might be the best organic I've ever had. It might, I think you might be right. Thinking about it now, I think you're right, Frankie. Okay. Oh, wait, you guys like the Pirate's Woody was not organic? Oh, right. The Pirate's Woody is way better than yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Let's go Western Family non-deluxe first. I got the bowl with the huge clump. The, the oil has pulled apart. This definitely has the look of a cheap Mac. This tastes a lot like I remember generic Macs being in the 80s, to mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah. 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 Like the next day when you warm it back up. It's greasy because um, it didn't bond together. The cheese didn't bond with the butter. We need to get the cheese and the oil into a, like a teleportation thing. Well, as we know, deluxes are always the best. Sure. Let's have a Let's deluxe. Let's have a deluxe. Right. Nice and shiny. It's yeah. a shiny. It's very shiny, yeah. Very tang. Weird. High tang. High, high tang. Whoa, through the roof tang. I don't think I knew what you guys were talking about with tang until I, it's a bit of a sour taste. Yeah, it is sour. I don't know that I care for this much. I mean. No. Like, I would actually go back to, to Greasy 30 Cent Mac. I think the organic out of these three is actually the best one. Yeah, I think you might be right. They're all mediocre. They're all totally acceptable, by the yeah. way. If I went to a party and there was a lot of food put out, yep. and somebody had made a giant pot of one of these, sure, I would probably keep going up and getting more. Okay, I might make a little face at the high tang, but besides that, I'd be good to go. At least I'm getting a lot more uh, salty taste out of it. Mm. Well, that's because of John over there. They all had <laughs> the same amount of salt. So next time, Frankie, we go back to Texas. We go back to Texas, and we're gonna take a look, another look at HEB from the original Texas box. They have Friday. lots of flavors. Lots of types. Next time on Box Mac. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. If you liked Gray's Fop Piano, watch her in her own episode for Kids Max. Then, watch Emily and the kids help out on Bag Trash. Mosho soon here, Ed Redcow Entertainment.